Now to the standoff between the federal government and the state of Texas at the southern border. The Biden administration is demanding that Texas allow Border Patrol agents full access to a crossing point in the border town of Eagle Pass and is currently being blocked by the Texas National Guard. CBS's Omar Villafranca is at the site as a stalemate. This is Shelby Park on the Rio Grande. It is now the new battleground between the state of Texas and the federal government. But it didn't always look like this. Now it's fenced in, surrounded by miles of razor wire, just like this. And there's armed Texas National Guard on standby. Federal Border Patrol agents can't even get full access to the park, which they say is a problem if they're trying to reach migrants in distress. On Monday, the Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Biden administration. But our CBS cameras were there when they caught Texas National Guardsmen laying out more wire. Texas officials say they will hold the line. Federal officials say Texas should allow them full access to this park by Friday. Nora. Thank you, Omar. The repercussions of what's happening at the border are being felt across the country. As Texas continues to bus migrants to major cities in the north, many of which are now completely out of space to house them. Our CBS Boston station captured this video. Dozens of migrant families now allowed into the terminal at Logan Airport overnight because there is no room left at shelters. And in Chicago, people are sleeping in buses while they wait for a place to stay. A big part of the problem is the ever-growing backlog of asylum cases. Right now, more than 3 million migrants are waiting for their cases to be heard in immigration court. Just last year, the backlog of cases was at 2 million. CBS's Manuel Bohorkas is in Miami, which has the largest backlog in the country. Well, Nora, this is Miami's immigration court, and you can tell by the markers on the ground, this is where people are told to line up. And on most days, you'll find a line of dozens of people trying to get inside to see a judge and learn more about their fate. About 275,000 cases of migrants placed in removal proceedings are pending in the Miami Immigration Court. That is the largest docket in the country. The average caseload nationally is now 4,500 per judge. And Nora, just for context, the amount of cases pending before just the Miami court now is roughly the same as there was nationwide a decade ago. Nora. Good context, Manny. Thank you. So what is being done about this? Well, on Capitol Hill, Senate Democrats continue to make headway in Congress on a border deal. There is agreement on allowing more deportations and detentions. The sticking point is whether to allow migrants to stay in the U.S. while waiting for their court dates and how to pay for it all.